Ho oh guys, Fujari speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 568. Today we're do the Halloween tree. So let's read that for the show, so we got for us. Words by Susan Matari. Pictures by Brescia Martinez. Here we go. Copyright, um, it's published, published by Sourcebooks, Jabberwocky. Well, okay. Here we go. That makes more sense anyway. With love to Jennifer, the now Laura and the tree. SM. To my sweet dear friend, Dorothy. Uh, TM. Cover 2019, our reserve. Okay. This Christmas tree, bar, buzz with excitement, carols, Play with his family's move up and down the wall of the tall pine trees, exclaiming, This one is beautiful, or this one is perfect. Wow. Makes sense anyway, even though it's a great idea in any way. So there you go. Next page. Anyways. Look at that fancy decorated tree. The front one shaped and grumbled. I don't like that like light. I don't like decorations. I don't like people. Wow, it's scary, I know. You should do something about this. It's a mix between the Nightmare Before Christmas or things like that. Next page. Anyways, um... A tree has disappeared off the lot. This little tree number... I, I want... I don't want to be a Christmas tree. I never want to be a leave this spot. Wow. Creepy, I know. Don't know what to do up here. Next page. Anyways, um, this little tree. Listen as as the other spabblings puzzle and with as hesitation like that. I can't wait a spot with whisper, cover light, one side. I hope I get my star at the top. Said another. The little tree grumbled. Um, I don't want me to become a Christmas tree, and I'm not going to. Well, you better to. Come on, Christmas trees are very important for you. How would you feel it would not be a Christmas tree? Sad. Come on now. It makes more sense in any way. Next page. Anyways, um, as the little tree grew, its limbs become became um groveled and twisted. Mm -hmm. Every time Neil's spot, but uh, being decorated with um lights and ornaments, made them turn brown and fall off. Wow. The tree looks nothing like the others. It's the Halloween tree. Wow. Scary, I know. It's a little bit creepier than you expected. Next page. Anyways, one day all the trees of the lot disappeared, all except one. Wow. Eventually, how, how houses began to appear. One with houses became from families. Um, by then the tree has grown tall and broad. It lamps with twisted and covered with stranger knobs. No, creepy, right? You gotta make more sense anyway, Halloween tree. Creepy, I know. Next page. Anyways, oh man, it's getting creepier and creepier every day. One summer, the tree heard children voices coming near the and snob. Uh, people. Yikes. A boy called, named Ben Crime. That tree looks grumpy. Wow. It's, it is grumpy. It's kind of like a, the tree from the Wizard of Oz who throws apples all the time. Say, what are you doing here? What do you think you're doing? Something like that. Anyway. For the apples. Anyway. Next page. Anyways. I like it. It's Sister Sarah said. As you touch his branch, it's so creepy. I dare you to climb on it, their friend Thomas Chowcher. Mm -hmm. Sarah pulled herself into a tree and sat on the cozy bar. It was a pirate ship. She shouted away from the, the others to join in her, something like that, anyway. All the children climb aboard. Wow. It's, uh, not what you expect, so 
at least do something about this whole Halloween spirit. Come on now, at least do something about it. Next page. Anyways, um... When the neighborhood kids needed to hide out, the tree, uh, became their fort. Wow, okay. Uh, when they played astronauts and aliens, it was their spaceship. Mm-hmm. One foggy not day, the tree is ready to return with the dragon. Wow. Even though, even though I thought it would be good make more sense. Even though it's a big bar. Okay. Makes sense anyway. Next page. Anyways. Um. When winter came, a cold wind blew. Something like that. And the children did come outside to play. The tree was in limbs empty. Stood out alone. And I felt worried with the Halloween tree. Something like that. On the empty, on the snowy afternoon, the tree watched as Sarah and Ben's father carried a large bundle into the house. That following night, Christmas tree appeared in the window. I don't like lights. I don't like decorations. I don't like people. The tree whispered, but it couldn't turn away. Scary, I know. You have to do something about it. It just creeps you out. Then the next page appears, same desk. The next year, the same thing happened. The kids played in their branches until the snow be to began to fall. And the tree wished for lights, decorations, and people. Though it had never wanted before. One spray, the tree wanted to try to make up and needles to grow properly. But after years of trying to stop them, they, have, they came to look at our raw. I felt worried, you know. The sword bay had fallen off. It's just sad, me, I know. It's just one ha saddest cow injury I've ever seen. I'm sorry, it just had to be one of those super the saddest trees I've ever seen. But anyway, next page. Anyways, um, a few months later, um, Sarah and Ben parents um were decorating how we. They followed across the yard and said, There's one horrible, horrible tree. We should cut it down. Their mother agreed. Not now, the tree fought. Um, not now that my limbs are full of happy children. I agree. This tree is lonely. Don't feel like that in the neighborhood things. Like, come on. You got to at least do something about this. Don't let him, the tree down. Or feel dead at this point. Feel spooky. Next page. Anyways. Up in the branches, Sarah one whispered, No, they can't. They have, we have, we can have to save our tree, Thomas cried. I know what to do, said Ben said, and whispered his plans to the other kid. They climbed down and raced away to gather supplies. And that makes more perfect sense. It's Halloween. At least do something about it. You have at least do something about this whole decoration upon us. Next page. Anyways, when they came back, Ben was already up in the tree wedging a huge jaguar in the book. No, something like that. Anyway, um, they all climbed up in front of the tree's branches. They hung with white and orange lights. Cloth webs made with string. Rubber spires and, and cardboard cats and bats, um, bats, um, ghosts, witches, and skeletons. That's a good idea. At least do something about it. Good ideas. Next page. Anyways, um, that night the parents, um, and all the neighbors gathered them more the tree. The children danced beneath shallow trick or tree to each other. And that's perfect sense. That is perfect sense. At least do something about it. It have to be good ideas. Last page of the book says this. Um, together was one. The tree fought. I do like lights. Um, I do like decorations. I do like people. I love being a Halloween tree. See? Told you. Give it all thoughts about it. So it was, um... The Halloween tree. When they read this book, it was amazing. 
So far, this book was a success. Happy Halloween. That was Bedtime Stories episode number um, 58. Hope you enjoyed. Today is going to be very the October, day number. Um, um, very well, the final edition of very the October, day number. 20, very well, 2024 edition. The next episode, Bedtime Stories, is going to be Mr. K's Clubhouse book on The Adventures of Captain Eric. Written by Kwan Stark and Mark Turner. Illustrated by Therese Marx. Now, man, excuse me. I gotta get ready to um, do this video every day October day. October. Very well, the 501 2024 edition. And after this, I'm watching the rest of the news on Will and Jeopardy. Till next time, suggest by this video. Goodbye, and soon say out. See ya.